Back again, guys. Um, this video is just going to be a quick, a very quick one. Uh, is this a gentleman asked me a question a little while ago in the comments. He just wanted to see the setup on the boat I fish on, the way it was designed. So after this little chat, I just done a quick, yeah, you know, film with the actual boat, a six meter Haynes I fish on. It's an older boat, beautiful sea boat, nice boat. Um, and the way it's set up for fishing. You'll see it's nothing overly, overly exciting, but Michael has done a couple of things to make it stand out though. First of all, he's got those rod holders mounted on the side to point out, so when we're live baiting, we put our rods out to the side and keep our baits from tangling. Um, doesn't always, can't always use them, depends on which way the boat's swinging and stuff, on at anchor in the wind and current, of course. But also fantastic for trolling. If you haven't got riggers, it spreads your lure pattern out. But the main thing that I didn't talk about in the video when I was filming the back of the boat, and I should have, I thought I'd mention it now, is when he put a, he cut that the back, the back hatch and put a bigger live bait tank out, a specially made live bait tank and put in. You can see it's an alloy one. It's quite large, which is awesome because we can catch, carry a lot of bait with a big powerful pump. But the one thing he done differently, it stands out. And I've never seen another boat do it, and it's fantastic. Before I get to it, you'll know most boats now we've got live bait tanks in them, and when we're traveling, the pumps don't pick up the water. So if you've got a tank full of live ears, you've got to stop every now and again and you know, refresh the water. Otherwise, if you're going for a long run, the time you get there, your live bait are all going to be you know, suffocated and dead. Um, what Michael's done different, apart from being a big tank and holding a lot of water, so he put a lot of live ears in, that will last quite a long time. He's actually went and had um, what's it called? I can't remember what it is now. An aerator. <laughs> I had to think about that. Sorry, guys. He had a nice, powerful aerator hardwired into the boat, and now we've got an aerator, you know, like a little stone in the in the bait tank. So when we're stopped, we can pump water through the big main pump. But while we're travelling and we're going to 36 or 50s with live baits on board, we just you can turn the pump off so you don't burn it out. We turn the aerator on. And it's got an aerator in the in the live bait tank, and it keeps all the live live for hours. It's a fantastic idea. I've never seen a boat do it. Well done, Michael. That's a great idea. I bet we start seeing a few boats do that now. Um, and apart from that, it's just a stock standard, you know, uh, bait mate. Oh, it's a bait mate bait uh, bait board at the back. The guys do a great job with those things. It's a nice little bait tank, uh, bait you know, bait board at the back with rocket launchers on it. So that's fantastic. Stock standard rod holders, couple out the side. Um, it's nothing special, it's like every other boat. Uh, esky down to the centre of the floor so we can walk up and down either side easily. It's just a stock standard boat, basically, apart from the live bait tank. And that's something to think about, guys. Putting an aerator, hardwired an aerator into your boat, it's, it keeps the liveys alive for hours. And even we've, we've noticed when we're sitting, say, chase jewies on the blocks, the big pump's running. That's quite noisy, that thing. We turn it off. Just have the air rate going. It's very, very quiet. And just flick the big pump on every now and again to give it a, the water a bit of a flush out. Um, it seems to work a treat. Anyway, guys, um, just have a, just watch a quick video on the boat. It's a nice little rig, and you'll see what I fish on. Um, hi, guys. We're out on the 18. Actually, sorry, we're out in the blocks. We're looking for an afternoon G fish. Hopefully, as the sun goes down, we'll have a bit of luck. But this video is a little different. I had a gentleman request. He just wanted to have a look around the boat that I fish on a lot. He's just curious about the setup. So it's nothing special. It just seems like a normal setup. But I'll just give you guys a quick look. Anyway, so standing at the front here, looking back. Stock standard. You can see the bait board. We've got a good old bait mate bait board. Fantastic bait board made by the guys. Rod hold on the back corner. And Michael's went and put lights in. This thing's got to roll that up at night time, which is fantastic. Now the other side, you've got your bait tank. But this one's a bit different. Michael's modified it. He's made a big custom made tank. So we can put a lot of yakas and stuff in there on this tank. He's cut out the top and had a big, looks like an alloy one made. So that's great. Another rod hold on cleats. Esky down the middle to put fish in. And the other thing he's done well is 
we've got these two rod holders off the sides here to put our baits, spread our baits out while we're live baiting and also for summer when we're trolling. So two here. Okay. This not that different than every other boat. Rocket launches on the bait tank. Rocket launches up the top. And you have this this uh what do you call this? I can't think of the name. Bimini top basically. Soft top. Uh, custom made, which is absolutely fantastic. Keeps the sun out and it's waterproof. It's a, it's a great cover. And as you can see, more light. You'll see after dark. Sounder, basic steering station. It's just a nice all around, uh, it's a six meter hay. It's a nice little boat. An official lot on. And like I said, at the moment we're on the blocks and hopefully we'll get a few fish tonight and I'll show you how we go. Thanks guys.